got an exam question walkthrough here for organic reactions. So the question looks at the reactions of alcohols and the reactions of alkenes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to leave a comment, please do so. Okay, so here's the question. It's on three slides, so I'll just click through the slides, you pause the video and then play on for the answers. Okay, so part A, we've got to give the systematic name for alcohol A. So the longest continuous chain is one, two, three, four long. So it's butte. The functional group is on carbon two. Shortest number, lowest number is here, two, rather than three. So it's butane two all. We've got a methyl group with carbon number three. So it's three methyl butane two all. Okay, so the structural formula now, so that's CH3, CH2 and so on. So what have we got? We've got this carbon here with two CH3 groups. There's also a hydrogen on there. Then we've got a C with an H and an OH and a CH3. So we'd write it like that. Chemist heats alcohol A with an acid catalyst. So that acid catalyst removes water from the alcohol. So it's going to take the OH and an H from an adjacent carbon. So it can either take the H off here going to put a double bond there or I could take an H off here and put a double bond there. So two possible answers are those. And the last part of A, chemist heats the alcohol with sodium chloride and sulfuric acid. So this combination here generates HCl in situ and then the Cl substitutes for the OH group. So the balanced equation starts with that and the products are those. So moving on to part B, we've got compound B, so it's got multiple alcohol groups. It's refluxed with excess acidified potassium dichromate 6 to form a single organic product, and we've got to come up with the equation. So the alcohol groups, first thing we've got to do is establish what's going to happen to them when they're exposed to this oxidizing agent, and we've also got to factor in that it's reflux. So the first of, so we'll start on left to right, the first alcohol group is a tertiary alcohol group. That's because the carbon with the OH on is bonded to three carbons. So that's not oxidized, so that won't change at all. The next one is a secondary alcohol. So that's going to be oxidized once, and that'll go to a ketone. We'll also get a water molecule formed from that oxidation. The third and final alcohol group is a primary alcohol group. So under reflux, that's going to get oxidized twice. So first of all, it will go to the aldehyde, but then it's going to go all the way to the carboxylic acid. But we only get one water. And so in total, there are three oxidations taking place. That's what the organic product would look like. And we're going to make two water molecules. So part C now, we've got this flow chart, and uh, we've got to consider the reactions of compound C with excess methanol and sulfuric acid, steam and phosphoric acid, and how does it polymerize? So we'll go up here first. So alcohol and sulfuric acid with carboxylic acid groups is obviously esterification. So these carboxylic acid groups are going to change to ester groups, and so we'll get that. So steam and phosphoric acid now, that's a hydration reaction. So we're basically going to add H2O across the double bond. So we'll put an H on one of the carbons of the double bond and an OH group on the other one. It doesn't matter which way around you add it because this is a symmetrical um, molecule. So I've gone for the OH on this carbon and the H has gone there. You could have drawn it the other way around, so OH there and H there. And finally, polymerization. Obviously, this is going to be an addition polymer. That double bond will open up and basically we'll get that as the repeat unit. The COOH groups, one can point up and one can point down, by the way, because that single bond between the carbons is a sigma bond, so it can free rotate. You'll notice there's no brackets shown on the repeat unit. You can show the brackets, but you've got to make sure that your end bonds, those dotted lines, could be a solid line if you wanted, must stick through the brackets.